September. A Wisconsin couple celebrating their 10th wedding anniversary set out for what was supposed to be the honeymoon they never had. Instead, it turned into a brush with death. Watch this. This is supposed to be a once in a lifetime trip. But for Corey Sorum and his wife Heidi, it was nothing of the sort. We never were able to do a honeymoon. And because of that, we wanted to save up and finally have that, that one trip. It was their 10th wedding anniversary, five nights at an all-inclusive resort in Mexico. Seemed like the perfect way to celebrate. It was gorgeous. We got to our room, unpacked, decided we wanted to change, go down to the pool. After a drink and a couple of shots, the Sorums went back to the hotel to get ready for dinner. That's when their heavenly trip turned into hell. I remember Heidi saying that she was gonna take a shower and I sat down on the couch and that's all I remember. I woke up looking around, I had no idea where she was. Corey found Heidi passed out on the bathroom floor. I woke her up saying, what are you doing? I thought we were going to dinner. I sat back down on the couch and I have no idea how long it was. I woke up again, looking around. Once again, Corey says Heidi was nowhere to be found. He looked around for her, but she was gone. Then he stepped out onto the balcony. And I looked down and I saw her legs. So I ran down the steps and then that's where I found her, unconscious, bloody, from her mouth and her head. He screamed for help and the resort doctor called 911. Corey says the hospital wanted $4,000 paid up front before Heidi could get stitches and an x-ray. The Sorums paid for her treatment and headed home to Wisconsin two days later. In Mexico, doctors said Heidi had a mild brain trauma, but back home she learned her condition was more serious. They could tell there was something not right, so they had taken me back for a CAT scan. Turns out Heidi had a fractured skull and bruising on her brain. She slowly healed, and the Sorums tried to put the nightmare behind them. But how Heidi wound up outside their room remained a mystery. I just thought it was a freak accident, you know, at the time. And then, nine months later, they came across an article by Raquel Rutledge in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Her initial report was on the mysterious death of a young woman, only four miles away from the hotel the Sorum stayed at. That woman, too, blacked out. In fact, the Journal Sentinel reported it heard from over 100 travelers from the U.S. and Canada who say they had gone to Mexico and blacked out after drinking small to moderate amounts of alcohol. For what we had and for how I was feeling, there's not a chance that it was normal. The Mexican government doesn't deny it has had issues with alcohol safety. Throughout the years, there have been problems with tainted alcohol. But the investigations that were conducted both by state and federal authorities in Quintana Roo have not found any problems with tainted alcohol. In July, the U.S. State Department noted allegations of tainted alcohol on its Mexico webpage. But Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin wants the State Department to do more. People have come out of the woodwork that experience similar symptoms, so you're, you're realizing this isn't just an isolated incident or an isolated tragedy or tragedies. This is a pattern, and it's a very disturbing pattern. For the Sorums, though, the aftershock of their ill-fated anniversary trip still lingers. It makes me angry just knowing that we go there for a good time and other people had other intentions. Corey and Heidi Sorum, they are here with us now. Welcome to you both. Um, how terrifying. First of all, was, was this like a nice resort? Had you done research on it? You know, how did it look online? Um, we, we had researched it a lot. We had planned, we never went on an actual honeymoon, so we had made the decision that at our 10-year anniversary we were going to go on a trip somewhere. We did a lot of research. Um, in all honesty, we went back and forth because Corey wanted to go to Jamaica, and I kept pushing for Mexico. Mm -hmm. And I won the argument of it, but um, we did a lot of research looking at reviews from people. Um, and it all looked good. It all looked great. My, we had family members that went there, too. So when we talk in the, in the setup piece about the fact that you, you saw her, you blacked out, you came to again, and she, you saw her three stories down, 
Do you, had you do you know whether you had fallen off the balcony? Um, there's no way where where he found me, um, and I don't have much memory. But where he had found me, it wasn't possible for me to have fallen off of the balcony. Um, we were on the third floor, like he said. And had I fallen off the balcony, I probably wouldn't be here today because mm-hmm. of um, it was all pavement rocks and everything. Okay. So, it, so you still have no idea how you got that gash in your head. We saw the picture and all the stitches. To this moment, no clue. Um, from what Corey had said, when he had found me, my head, I was laying with my head on. Um, like uh, leftover concrete from when they poured the sidewalk. It was real rough and jagged. And that's so she could have gotten herself downstairs, potentially stumbled and fallen. Possibly, yes. What, Corey, what do you believe happened? Because you talk about how you guys had a couple, I mean, you're in Mexico, you have the fruity drink, you had a shot. How much alcohol had you consumed and what do you believe happened? We just had two of those fruity blended drinks at the uh, swim up pool or at the swim up bar. And then um, the bartender asked if we wanted a shot. So we did a Mexican flag shot, which he recommended, but also people that I worked with also said that it's a good, it's a good drink, try it. So we did. Um, did it taste funny? It tasted Horrible. terrible. Tasted terrible, okay. It was bad, right. it was really bad. And um, well, with that, we, were, we thought the bartender had forgotten about us because we, he asked us if we wanted it, we said yeah. It took him 15 minutes to mix it and we were watching, he would mix and then dump and then start mixing again and dump. It was a whole dump. concoction. It was a whole concoction. The, it's shocking that you, this happened to you and you didn't realize until months later that you were not the only one. In fact, that you know, the number, at, 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 as we put in that piece, is up to at least 100. And the person who broke that story is Raquel Rutledge. She's a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. She's been following the story. She's with us here in the audience. Raquel, thank you. Um, so that we're seeing a pattern emerge here, a pattern. What, first of all, what is tainted alcohol? Well, there's, that's a great question because I think it's, that term is used rather loose, loosely. So tainted alcohol could be uh, contaminated with industrial alcohol, with tequila flavored powder. Um, it could also be deliberate drugging. It could be, there's a, multiple things going on that I've been hearing as I've talked to dozens and dozens of people. In, in one of the other stories you broke that brought uh, our, our, this couple together with another family was the story of, of this young woman, Abby Connor who died. She died and was found at the bottom of, the, of a pool there uh, after having, she had five shots in two hours. So she was drinking heavily, but the blood alcohol content was something like 2.5, which th- they say you'd have to drink seven shots in one hour to, to reach that. Right, 0.25. Yeah. Okay, so 0.25, sorry, 0.25. So is the, is, would tainted alcohol drive up your blood alcohol content? Well, it, it, those studies that talked about, or the toxicology reports, they're, they're questionable as it is, because as we learned later, um, the hospitals that uh, a lot of folks are ending up in um, aren't necessarily trustworthy. And we've heard of stories of, you know, people have been extorted for huge sums of money, like, like Heidi and Corey. Is that the game? I mean, if there's a game going on here, is that the game to get the money at the hospital or what? That's... And too many stories have had have said that. So I mean, it's it's really hard to know exactly what's happening. And each case is a little bit different. There are some common threads for sure, um, but it's the the toxicology reports of the 0.25 um, blood alcohol aren't trustworthy because they're two people and um, Abby's brother is six three and she's small. And that's what struck me about a number of these stories. There's couples that are blacking out simultaneously. And you have a lot of petite women and big men, and they're drinking small amounts, or in the case of the Connors, quite a bit more. Um, But still, for two people to go out in a a resort pool where it's crowded and people are typically around, it just raises too many questions. It just makes you wonder, because the the core industry in Mexico is tourism. You know, they need American tourists and Canadian tourists, and this would not be in their interest. And and they, they of course, deny that it's happening as well. would you go back? Would, what would you say to people considering going? Absolutely not. I wouldn't go back. Um, we've had people that we don't even know reach out to us since Raquel did this story and ask. Um, and everyone, it's, anything can happen to you anywhere you go. But with what we went through at the hospital and everything, I wouldn't recommend it. it there's so many other places in the world that I think you'd be treated better, safer. So. We, we got to get you that second honeymoon. <laughs> We got, we're going to work on that. I'm going to have you back. I'm going to come. Maybe this is it, Manhattan. I have a lot of great suggestions for you. We'll talk during the break. Okay. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you. much for being here.
Raquel, great job. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.